Yep, that's uh, an old house of banking. Bank of Nova Scotia in this case. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Hamilton. It's over by the Red Hill Park Parkway. So just inside, it's it's an industrial unit. So the entry area is a a, a wide uh, aisleway going in, and then it opens up into what we're seeing here. On the from going in on the right side, they've got an outdoor area as well. I didn't go into that one this time where they've got some building materials that are just as easily stored outdoors, such as uh, paving stones and, and um, items of that nature. Things that don't appreciate being inside any more than being outside. Here's the other item. If you watch the Grimsby Restore, this is a piece that goes along with an item that they have over there. Here you see some of the f historic photos. Um, I know they're reproductions, but uh, that we started the splash with. There's a whole bunch of these, and each one of them has the label. They tell you it's from the Scotia Bank archives, but it was Bank of Nova Scotia prior to being called Scotia Bank. Means the same thing. a certain amount of pride for folks who are working at these banks, the bank branches, and this one, the area has dramatically changed since 1923 in a number of ways, including an LRT going in the general area. Chester, Nova Scotia was on there. Not sure if, I don't remember if this was Chester or not. No, this is Young and Broadway in Toronto. Don't often see the interior views, but this is very similar to many banks of that era. Um, appears to be from Thun what is now Thunder Bay. It was Fort William at that time. Main and Gerard in Toronto. There are quite a few in Toronto. And then we get into the actual touring. These are the small appliances in this area. Then you get kitchen cabinetry, other building materials. There's some sinks and toilets. collection of doors that you can pick from, whether it's interior, exterior, storm door, screen door. Depends on what they have in stock, who donated what. Some windows as well. So this one is far more based on building materials, construction materials than the than some of the other stores. Here we got some uh, the, uh, some of their lighting. There's not that much of it here. 
They've had a number of projects fairly recently. Different chemicals, uh, some are for concrete, some are for just cleaning yourself up, some are for prepping, cleaning of the buildings. It's all kinds of stuff there. They have some amount of paint. It varies, some of them mist tints, some are just paints that the, the sometimes it's a store that wants to get rid of a certain certain brand because they're they've changed suppliers. I know that two of the big box stores are uh, regular contributors. I won't name them specifically, but you'll 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 know when you see items in these stores. Well, that's it for this tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate a like and a and a subscribe. And if you want to, you can get a mark on the bell so you get a notification when the next one is uploaded. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.